Hi guys, Abs here and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating a brand new tool that we've developed that's going to allow you to become an authority in any niche you set out to target. So just before I actually show you the tool in action and show you exactly how different it is from any other tool you might have used, I just want to give you an understanding of the methods that we currently use ourselves, methods that you're currently using yourself as well, and then we're going to outline the exact differences with our new tool and how it puts everything into perspective and categorize categorizes everything for you. So anyway, um, let's, do, let's look at keyword research. Um, so when we're doing keyword research, we might be using Google Keyword Planner, we might be using things like Google Suggest, we might be using Niche Genetics or what not you. And I'm going to outline some very distinct differences that you can expect down here. So anyway, starting with the keyword acne, when we're searching for acne, so for example, inside the Google Keyword Planner, um, we can see that Google lists a number of acne related keywords down here. Sometimes I don't even have the word acne in them but they're very related to your actual main keyword so for example you've got acne treatment you've got blackhead removal blackhead removal doesn't have the term acne in there but it's very related to acne you've got acne scars best acne treatment um, you got even medicine names down here, acne medication and whatnot. You Okay, we can actually have a look at ad group ideas. These are really cool as well, guys, um, because Google does actually give you the main differences between the keywords down here. And then what they do is group them up together for you. So for example, if we go into acne scars, everything inside of here is going to have the term acne and scars in there. So for example, acne scars, acne scar treatment, acne scar, reduce acne scars, heal acne scars, acne scar solutions and whatnot. You. And the cool thing about the Google Keyword Planner is if you've actually got an AdWords account active, guys, then you'll get the exact figure of how many times they're searched for on a monthly basis. And then this allows you to go out there and knowing that you want to target something like acne scars um, or acne scar treatment, and then it allows you to go out there and find out you know what keywords have the most amount of searches for them what keywords are going to be the most lucrative to target and how difficult or easy it's going to be um, to actually target those keywords now google keyword planner doesn't actually tell you the keyword difficulty but it'll give you a good understanding of what kind of keywords you should be looking to target that are going to draw in the most amount of searches okay and if we have a look at for example niche genetics okay with niche genetics um it's really cool because it tells you exactly how difficult or easy it's going to be to target these kind of keywords um and it gives you an understanding of who your competition is going to be as well it gives you long tail keywords related terms it tells you about your competitors gives you LSI terms and tags it gives you ad word copies that people are using at the moment in Google to um, advertise um, it gives you categories and suggestions and how to's and questions and trends and it even tells you about products that are being sold on various marketplaces so I mean if we have a look at for example long tail keywords Okay, and I'll put these so that the highest monthly ones are searched towards the top. Because it's acne, guys, um, or the keyword's acne, it's going to make sure that everything in the long tail keywords is going to have the term acne in there as well. So you've got acne, how to get rid of acne, cystic acne, baby acne, acne treatment, acne scars, acne studios, home remedies for acne, apple cider, vinegar acne, and, and whatnot, you guys. Okay, so it's really cool for when you know what keyword you're looking to target, and then you can come along and find out which ones have the most amount of monthly search volume. You can perform a search on, on um, niche genetics and it'll tell you exactly how easy or difficult it's going to be you can perform your competition analysis tells you exactly what the sites are um, tells you if they've got the keywords and the urls and what not you and the domain age and all sorts of stuff down here guys um, so it does take you in a bit more depth um, however it doesn't put anything into perspective for you um, and as you notice we started off with the keyword acne and we're getting related terms and we're getting long tail terms um, so that you know what we can dive in and explore even further Okay, another way that you might be using um, or to find keywords, guys, might be something like Google Suggest. Okay, so if I type in acne down here and type in A, so we've got acne around mouth, acne archive, acne agency, acne antibodies, acne B, acne boots, brand, body wash, brush, acne C, cyst and clothing and cream and causes and chart and whatnot. You. So they're always going to have the term acne in there. Now let me take you over to our new tool. Our new tool is called Nichepedia. It's very different when comparing it to the current methods of research that I've shown you, and it's super duper fast as well guys so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be saving everything over to this folder here I'm gonna search for these keywords down here guys um, and then I'm gonna show you exactly how different they are comparing um, to the current way that we're doing it so I'm gonna click on start give it a couple of seconds and all six keywords have been done so let's start up and open up acne so that you can get a better understanding so let's have a look to see what we've got down here now so we've got categories 
and putting it more into perspective and then we've got the main keywords down here so we've got skin disease hair follicles dead skin cells oil from the skin blackheads or whiteheads now when i'm reading these out guys just imagine if you had a writer and then you told your writer you know or you done a re you done um, some research on nichepedia you pulled up these csvs and you passed them over to your writer and you said to your writer you know what try and include as many terms as you can on the article that i want about acne now just remember guys when you're talking about acne or when you're looking to rank in google um it's not all about optimizing for the one keyword now and having that keyword in multiple places and so many times and in bold and in your title and what not you because of the semantic web google is much more clever now the hummingbird started it all off guys um but yes the semantic web google rank brain um you know what they fully understand exactly how authoritative your content is the relationship between terms and words and a given meaning um and this tool that we've developed guys um as you can see not one of these terms down here has the word acne in there at the moment however everything is related to acne and this is the exact same way that google looks at it as well so let's have a look again guys skin disease hair follicles dead skin cells all from the skin blackheads or whiteheads pimples scarring oil glands anxiety self-esteem depression thoughts of suicide genetics cigarette smoking cleansiness puberty sexes hormones and let's go down some more guys um now we've got classifications guys so clogged skin follicles papules or I don't really know how to pronounce these. Um, pustules, nodules, and cysts. Okay, signs and symptoms. Increased secretion and sebum. Let's talk about scars now. Scars and inflammation and dermal layer of the skin. Collagen. Okay, let's talk about pigmentation. Um, melanocytes, melanin, darker skin color, ultraviolet rays, SPF, sunscreen. Um, let's talk about genes. Now, you might be getting acne due to your genes from twins or first degree relatives or XYY syndrome or due to the influence, or sorry, due to the influence of multiple genes. Okay. Um, and what not you let's talk about hormones people might get um, acne due to hormones okay menstrual cycles puberty androgens hormones um, dihydrotestosterone um, growth hormone um, insulin like growth factor one um, okay um, and what not you guys anabolic steroids and bodybuilding and dietary supplements and infections related to it as well guys anaerobic bacterial and um, demodox demodex whatever 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 okay diets you're talking about chocolate salt obesity and i don't know wee protein um stress related causes for acne medications that you can take for acne and whatnot you guys so i'm sure you get a better understanding of exactly how i mean just look at these kind of keywords that we've got down here we've got a none end of keywords guys and none of them are probably going to have the word acne inside of them so what you need to look at guys is when you're looking and working with nichepedia um it actually opens up the niche for you um it tells you everything that's related it makes you an expert in that niche guys um, and it doesn't focus just on the one keyword what you do is you take your keywords from here find out which one you want to optimize for most and then go out there and look to optimize for it however when you're writing articles and content guys then you want to be trying to include a lot of these terms inside of your actual article okay let's have a look at some more guys let's have a look at for example christianity Okay, with Christianity, guys, we've got things like Abrahamic religion, monotheistic religion, life teachings, Jesus Christ. Okay, focal point of Christian faith, world's largest religion, Christians, 158 um, territories and countries, son of God, savior of humanity, Messiah, Christ, Old Testament, Apostles' Creed. Let's go down a little bit more, guys. Beliefs, we've got things like Catholics and Protestants and Orthodox, uh, creeds of Christian and of and Christian creeds, list of Christian creeds, apostles creeds, and um, Nicene creed, and I don't know, so many more guys. <laughs> Okay, let's have a look at Jesus. You've got things like um, Jesus, Jesus in Christianity, Jesus um, in comparative mythology, Son of God, Messiah, anointed, um, Old Testament and sinful, eternal life, nature of Jesus, God um, incarnate, uh, fully human, uh, New Testament, and I don't know, so many more guys. Okay, salvation, Paul the Apostle, pagans saved, Martin Luther, God's grace, and what not you. Let's have a look at Trinity, um, God, Father, Son, Jesus, Holy Spirit, um, New Testament, Old Testament, um and um f i don't know you've got so many more keywords down here guys you've got scriptures biblical canon bible um second great awakening christian scripture biblical canon old testament new testament um i don't know you've got so many more guys king james version so it gives you versions of the bible tanakh and councils and traditions and hebrew bible um and coin greek and, and so many more guys okay so um, i'm sure you get a good understanding of, of how this works guys i mean worship you've got things like um rose rosary bible crucifix 
um, amen, annual cycle, sermon, prayers, Lord's Prayer, um, churches, church services, Seventh Day Adventists, um, and you know what, you've got so many more down here, guys. Um, it, you know, it's just going to make you, uh, you know, a real big. Um, authority in any niche i mean you might be thinking though hang on abs you know bread and wine um where do they come into it so i mean if you if you if you are a christian or you know about christianity then they have masses sunday mass and they have wine as the blood of christ they have bread as the body of christ um and you know what this all comes in when we work and get the definition of this as well so i'm going to be showing you this in a moment as well um we actually have three ways of doing research with this you've got complete analysis direct analysis and with both of them you can actually include the definitions we're going to be including the definitions in a minute guys just to show you exactly how cool this is okay but have a look guys you've got so many keywords down here none of them probably have the word christianity inside of them but all of them are going to be related um to christianity okay so anyway let me get out of here let me open up some Something else as well um, I'll open up diabetes now guys so you get a good understanding of diabetes um, so diabetes so you've got things like metabolic disorders high blood sugar acute um, you've got cardiovascular disease stroke chronic kidney disease foot ulcers damage to the eyes pancreas insulin type 1 type 2 insulin resistance uh, signs and symptoms guys you've got things like polyuria um, fatigue lens of the eye um, diabetic derm dermodromes um, diabetic emergencies guys so when there's an emergency they're going to be acting like with low blood sugar or feeling of unease or sweating and confusion and seizures and unconsciousness and brain damage and death and you know all sorts guys now i know some of these keywords are you know pretty painful to listen to so i do apologize guys i just wanted to show you exactly how different our new keyword research software is when comparing it to other keyword research softwares okay so you've got causes type 1 type 2 and whatnot you then you've got type 1 diabetes and tells you about beta cells and pancreatic isolates and t-cells and autoimmunes and glucose and insulin and high blood sugar levels then you've got type 2 insulin resistance insulin receptor um, medications liver obesity body mass index and whatnot you and you've got so many more keywords down here and everything has been categorized and put into more perspective for you Okay, let's have a look at one more, guys. Uh, let's have a look at Islam, for example. Uh, we'll actually have a look at Juda Judaism as well, guys, just to make it fair um, that we are looking at all the keywords. Okay, so we've got Abrahamic religion, monotheistic, one incomparable God, Allah, Muhammad, messenger, world's second largest religion, fastest growing religion in the world, Muslims, 50 countries, God, merciful, all powerful, prophets, Quran, um, Hadith, Adam, Abraham, Moses, Jesus. These are all prophets in Islam, guys. Um, and, you know, some of them, you might be thinking, hang on, why is Jesus noted down here or why is Abraham noted down here or why is Adam noted down here and that's exactly where the definitions section is going to come in guys and you're going to be able to know you got Mecca Medina and what not you okay so you got um Kaaba Mecca direction of prayer Muslims Arabic and Islam and um I don't know Deen and Hadith of Gabriel and Iman and Ihsan these are Arabic terms down here guys and with the definition we'll get the full meaning for these as well Articles of faith, you've got Akida and Iman and faith and creed and six articles of faith. Concept of God, um, you've got Allah, Tawheed, um, polytheism, um, idolatry, shirk, trinitary, Jesus, names of God in Islam, taqwa. Um, and, you know, some of these words, again, guys, they're in Arabic as well. Angels, you've got Israfil, um, angels, Arabic, messenger, Hebrew, Greek, Quran. So we'll actually find the meanings of these guys and you'll see exactly how they relate to this as well. Um, in fact, what I'll do, I'll close out of here. We'll quickly have a look at Judaism, guys, um, and then we'll come back again. So with Judaism, we've got things like Hebrew, Judah, Latin, Greek, monotheistic, Abrahamic religion, Torah, religion, philosophy, culture, Jewish people, covenant, God, children of Israel, Tanakh, Hebrew, Talmud, um, Let's go down a little bit more. Definition characteristics. Um, we've got Tanakh, Abraham, Israel, commandments, laws, covenant, um, <clears throat> Kabbalah, um, Halakha, um, <clears throat> and so many more, guys. Um, core tenants. Um, we've got Psalms and Messiah and Maimonides and Jewish history and the t uh, Jewish religious texts, Hebrew Bible, um, rabbinic literature, Mesora, Targum, um, exegesis. Midrash, um, Mishnah, Tosefta, um, Talmud, and Halak, Halakik, sorry, um, Sidur, and Hasidic, 
um, and so many more guys. Um, okay, so I'm sure you get the uh, good understanding of exactly how this is totally different to the other methods that we're actually doing keyword research ourselves. In fact, I'm gonna delete these here now, guys. I'm gonna open this up here and what we'll do, we'll focus on three keywords and we'll get the actual um, terms on these. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus on three of them being Islam, Christianity and Judaism. And the reason I'm gonna do this guys is because some of the terms are gonna be very similar, but I'm gonna show you how our tool pulls up the definition based on the keyword that we're actually searching for. So I'm gonna click on include definition. I'm gonna click on start. Um, I'm gonna keep this open. It does take a little bit longer guys, but we're working with 99 threads. So it is super duper fast anyway, um, but we're gonna include the definition for these as well. The first one's already popped out which is Judaism um, let's give it a couple more seconds oh here we go they're all done here guys okay so let's start off with Christianity um, and as you can see we've got three cells now so we've got the categories and we've got the keywords and then we have um, the actual meanings down here okay so let's have a look at for example uh, monotheistic guys so monotheistic or monotheism has been defined as the belief in the existence of only one god that created the world is all powerful and intervenous in the world a broader definition of monotheism okay so this is a meaning of monotheism and it tells you about the kind of religions that believe in um, monotheism or one god okay let's have a look at for example messiah Okay, in Abrahamic religions, the Messiah, and then tells you in Hebrew as well, guys, what it is, is one chosen to lead the world and thereby save it. The term also appears in um, the forms of Messiahs, Christ, um, the concept of the Messiah, and tells you about the Messiah there, guys, as well. Okay, Son of God. So, for example, this is in Christianity. In Christianity, the title Son of God refers to the status of Jesus as the divine Son of God and the fa God the Father. Okay, let's have a look at um, some more of these down here. Died. So, you might be thinking, hang on, how is died related to Christianity? So, when we have a look at the definition, it tells us the crucifixion of Jesus occurred in the first century Judea most probably between the years 30 and 33 AD after after death or Anno Domini. Jesus' crucifixion, crucifixion is described in the four canonical gospels referred to in the New Testament epistles. Okay, so it tells you about how the term died relates to your main keyword, guys. Let's have a look at buried as well. Okay, Christianity Bible book, Life of Jesus. The burial of Jesus refers to the burial of the body of Jesus after crucifixion described in the New Testament. Okay, so every definition that we're going to have down here, guys, is even though the word died means, you know, somebody who's lost their life and, you know, they've passed from this world, um, it's not going to give us the definition of the word died. Instead, we're going to get the definition that's related to our main keyword. So when we're looking at died in Christianity and, you know, because we've opened up Christianity, we're going to look at it based on what we mean by that. And that's talking about the, um, you know, the cru crucifixion of Jesus and after he died. OK, um, let's have a look at eternal life. Eternal life traditionally refers to continued life after death as outlined in Christian um, eschatology the apostles creed testifies i believe the resurrection of the body okay and what not you guys okay let's actually have a look at those terms that i mentioned about bread and wine okay so we'll go f and we'll type in bread oops okay bread so let's have a look at bread okay sacramental bread latin hostia sometimes called altar bread communion bread the lamb or simply the host is the bread which is used in the christian ritual of the eucharist or i'm not sure if i pronounced that right guys so i do apologize both eastern and western traditions insist that the bread must be made from wheat roman catholic so so as you can see guys it tells you the meaning of the bread um in christianity if we have a look at wine as well so sacramental wine, communion wine or altar wine is wine obtained from grapes and intended for the use in celebration of Eucharist, referred to also as the divine or um, liturgy, the mass, the Lord's Supper of Holy Communion. The same wine is intended for the use of ceremonies of non-Christian religion as the ordinary use would not normally be described by these terms. So now you get to understand exactly how these terms are related to your main keyword and then you also get the definition of these terms so that there's no doubt left behind of why you should be including these in your content. Now if you actually went ahead and used Nichepedia to pull up details and to do 
your research, pass this over to your copywriter or pass this over to your content writer or even you use it yourself guys. One, you're going to become an expert in the subject and two, the content that you're going to produce by adding these kind of terms inside of that content is going to be super duper and highly authoritative guys. Okay, let's have a look at some other terms or some other ones down here. Islam guys. Okay, so I'll open this up down here again. Uh, let's have a look at the word God. Okay, so in Islamic theology, now again guys, we're getting the definition based on the keyword. So because it's God and we search for the word Islam, we're going to get the definition of God for Islam. Okay, so in Islamic theology, God okay, is the all-powerful and the all-knowing creator, sustainer, ordainer, and judge of everything in existence. Islam emphasizes that God is strictly singular, Tawheed, unique, Wahid, and inherently one, Ahad. Okay, so you're actually getting the terminology and the definitions based on your keyword, guys. If we have a look at the same term um, in Judaism, so I'll open this up down here. So we've got God here. Let's have a look at the definition in Judaism. So in Judaism, God is understood to be the absolute one, indivisible and incomparable being who is the ultimate cause of all existence. Judaism, Judaism holds the YHWH, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob and the, na and the national God of the Israelites. OK, so now we're getting terms that are related to our keyword that make us an expert. And we also get the definition of these terms, guys. Um, and we're able to do this using Nichepedia. It was super duper fast, guys. Um, and um, it's a very lightweight piece of software. And it's very different to any other tool that we've seen on the market. Now, we haven't seen anything on the market that does anything like what Nichepedia does, guys. And we're going to be releasing this very, very soon. I just wanted to give you a demonstration and show you exactly how different this is. Because I know so many people are going to say, oh, no, not another keyword research tool. Because that's exactly, you know, the kind of things that I would say as well. In fact, when we released, when we released Niche Genetics as well, um, a lot of affiliate partners and a lot of other partners of ours were saying oh abs you know another keyword research tool there's so many out there but the thing you need to take away from this guys is that this is very very different to anything on the market it's very very lightweight it's very quick and it makes anyone an expert in any niche guys okay um it's super cool to work with as well and it's very straightforward to work with um and we're going to be releasing this very very soon i just wanted to give you a quick demo of this in action guys um so yeah do keep a look out for our email i believe this is something that you're definitely going to want to have by your side um because you know what it is really so cool and of course as with all of our tools it's going to be super duper affordable during launch um so do keep a look out for our emails we might be going live as soon as next week so anyway thank you very much and i really hope you enjoy this